Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Hey Ho Show. I'm Jay. Rude Boy is elsewhere tonight, uh, and that's okay. Um, it's a combination of he had some stuff to do. He had, come on now, he had plans. And on top of that, he also thought we pushed it back to next week versus just pushing it a week. So, hello, everybody. Um, so glad that you are here. Um, for those of you who, uh, um, who follow uh, Meso Hunter? Thank you for being here. Welcome to the Hey Ho Show. We're a kind of a variety show of sorts with a bend on true crime. Uh, we do cover some true crime stuff, uh, but we also do like top 10 lists and stupid news and just a lot of crazy things. So I'm so glad. I know I'm blurry. I know. I see. So Fridays are tough because around nine, when my children should be in bed, everybody is doing something um and right now we're doing some work on the kitchen in terms of we're wanting to resurface and repaint the kitchen cabinets and so um everybody's up everybody's up and so everybody's on the computer and stuff and eventually i will hardwire myself in um when i'm man enough to do so <laughs> until then here i am um so so sorry for the blur. I apologize. Um, hello to everybody coming in. Hello, Jaded. Hello, Shunka. Hello, Heartless. That's funny. My last name starts in Ho. Yeah. Um, <laughs> excuse accepted. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Uh, and hello to everybody who um, who I have not said hello to. Hello to all the mods. Thank you for all your hard work. Um, your your hard work helped me put this together tonight. Tonight's going to be a little bit different. Um, we are still going to do some stuff like the news and the top 10. We're going to do everything we normally do, but there is a bend on this that is very important to, to me and to my special guest host who is joining me tonight. And I will let her introduce herself. So here we go. <laughs> Hey, it's <laughs> that's the most genuine y'all I ever heard. <laughs> hey, y'all. Hey, Bessies. <laughs> <laughs> um, so would you like to introduce yourself however you want to? Um, hi, I'm Buffy. I'm, I'm so <laughs> <laughs> She's an amazing human being, and um, Buffy is here tonight to further talk about uh, the main theme, the main topic of tonight, which is uh, Slidell, Louisiana. I'm saying that right, right, Slidell? Yes, Slidell. Okay, good, because I'll <laughs> tell you, we were watching a couple of people do some some weather chasing and things like that. Not you, Meso, don't worry. And uh, <laughs> right. the pronunciations were just all over the board. Um, the funnest thing. And so... <laughs> listening to them, just, yeah. just, just decimate the name. Right? I would rather know the name first before I go and just do it on purpose. So, um, so... Buffy actually is in the general region of Slidell, and um, it just so happened that on the 10th, I'm looking at my, my watch, you can see that, isn't that, it's a very expensive watch. Um, on the 10th, uh, if you were under a rock, you didn't hear about this, but, uh, <laughs> but Buffy did, uh, a massive storm oh, system came through. Um, and we'll we'll let Meso talk a little bit more about that um, a little bit later on from a technical side because that's not my bag. <laughs> um, and uh, that the storm system not only brought immense rain, inches upon inches of rain, but it also brought tornadoes. Um, and I think, Buffy, the last time you said the count was four confirmed? There, well... I there what they've only got one confirmed, but I don't know. There was a lot. Oh. No, one confirmed. The one was enough, days. though. One was enough. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. I went. I yeah, went and, and saw and it. It was. That's right. Did you just you just did that today, right? I did this morning. Yeah, I I drove 
over there after I dropped my kid off of school. And uh, the pictures, just everything that we saw on the news, everything that we saw in pictures, it just does not do it justice. It, everything looks normal until you get to a certain point and then it just looks like a, an explosion went off. Like, it, it just looks like bombs just blew up buildings. It, it That was... It was horrible. That was something that kind of blew me away um, is that there was there was an interview done with a police officer and I cannot remember his name, but he's former military, uh, former active duty. He was in um, uh, Afghanistan, I believe he said. That was Rodney West and he's um, one of my friends. So, Oh, aw, he seemed so nice, but I'll tell you something that, that really hit me hard and you know, my dad was 36 years Navy and also in Iraq in the very beginning, the first, you know, three months or whatever of it. And he said, this is worse than that. And I had to take a step back and be like, did he really mean he did? And the more pictures that I saw, the more I realized just how much devastation happened, even if it was just that one need, right? Um, and so a, a lot, a lot went down. Um, can you kind of tell me, I, I feel like, a, I always hate it when news anchors do this, where they're like, tell me how it felt. Uh, but the reality is, I think people should know um, what it's like to go through that if they have not before. And I know it was highly emotional for you. So I don't want you to have to walk back through that if you don't want to. But I'm, I'm wondering kind of, you know, what were some of the characteristics of what was going on during that point in which the storm came through and then the tornado touched down? Well, I mean, the scariest part was we lost all, a lot of scary parts, actually. We lost, like, all communication. Like, my cell service went down. Um, my internet went down. Um, our National Weather Service Stop reporting. Um, we weren't getting, we didn't get any tornado warnings at all. Um, I was live trying to like watch the news, right? So I knew if something was coming, but when everything kept tapping out, like there was no way to know like what was coming. And you can hear the wind and you can hear the rain. And, you know, I'm, I was by myself with my two kids. And we don't, have any, we don't have any place to go. So you just have to kind of find like the best room to hide in, um, which is my pantry and my kitchen because I have no windows I, in, in there. And that's like the innermost room. So I'm gathering up my kids and throwing them in the pantry with pillows. And, you know, my little guy with his little headphones on so he doesn't have to hear this, you know, loudness and stuff. And everything kept cutting out. So I'm trying to calm him down while I'm trying to watch and see what's coming. And, you know, I had dear friends on the phone with me the whole time when I could hear them because I kept losing signal. And I felt like the, I got when I finally could hear all I heard was get in your safe space now. And there were some expletives in there. I'm not going to stay here, but, and I, I just like, we're my kids in there and shut the door and we're just sitting there and we didn't know when like we can come out so i'm like all you can hear is the wind you could hear it i mean because i have like oh it's not there's no windows it's the innermost room of my house so i could hear it and that was scary and then like i didn't know when i can come out we didn't know anything i was not getting any updates like on my phone so i'm like all right i'm gonna sneak out i'm gonna go outside and when i went outside oh I went outside and like you could see the wind. I had never seen one like that before. And I live in the south. There are hurricanes here. Um, but I had never seen it like that. It was whipping in all kinds of directions. Um it it was like wind was blowing rain this way, and it was blowing rain that way, and I was and then I saw lightning striking all around. And I was just like, oh no. Uh, I'm like done running to the room. <laughs> and we just sat it's, there. Uh, 
that scene from Family Guy with Ollie the Weatherman, where he's like, "It's raining sideways." You, you don't expect you don't expect that to actually happen, but here we are. No, and the sky um, was just this weirdest color, and it I'm, I'm just it was just it was a haze. It was weird, and I'm thankful that nothing happened where I live now. I got a lot of water, but I didn't get the twenty eight damage. Hey, um. You were slowly, every now and again, you'd send us a picture of the fire hydrant across the street from you, I think it is. And I would just see yeah. the water go up and up, go up. and up and uh, eventually like to the very top of it. And then you'd send us pictures of the backyard and the water would just be coming this way and this way and this way. It was. And, and I'm just it sitting was. here praying for a big sponge. Like I'm just, <laughs> I just needed it to go away for you. I taste from the backyards to the front yard from the backyard to the front yard. I got my steps in that day. I was like waiting. I'm like, we're going to get water. We're going to get water. We're going to get water. And I was like, I don't, I don't, I'm like, it was, I was panicking. Well, and you, and, and you got water and wildlife too. Um, I think that's the name of your first album. (laughs) We had yeah, there were snakes running through my backyard. There are gators in the pond across the street. So you know, it was like, oh, oh god. I'm mostly impressed that the snakes were running through the backyard. They're they, they uh, not running. I'm, I'm swimming. Yeah, swimming through the backyard. Just like <laughs> I'm just giving you a hard time. That's all. I'm just giving you a hard time. Um, I think running through the backyard, the little legs. It was crazy. That was great. <laughs> Um, all right, so let's um, just for just for a moment, we're gonna take take a second. But here's what I want to do, actually, before we even do that, I'm gonna put up a um, a banner here for everybody that says um, I've typed it so many times now. Um, I think this is, I'm pretty sure this is it. Um, All right, there we go. Um, So here's what, here's what you all need to know. Um, You're going to see this go across and then you'll see a QR code in one of the videos. I've montaged things that I put together today. Um, And there's a, there's obviously a website. uh, It's buy me, buy me a coffee. It is, it is mine, but I've repurposed it for, for Slidell specifically two individuals in Slidell who encountered, um, uh, it just just a just a brutal end of their apartment i think is a good way to put it and um she works really hard and her son is about to graduate and you'll hear more from her herself in, within the video and i'm sure um buffy can kind of give us an update on how they're doing too uh but you know and we will get to that but i'm going to leave that running on the bottom so if you wonder what that is that's what it is so if you're feeling like you're able to if you're able um, and feel the the urge to to donate um, to this mom and the son. Um, please do. Please head there. Um, anything that you donate is going to go straight over to them. Um, you know, do not pass go. Do not collect two hundred dollars. I mean, it'd be nice to collect two hundred dollars uh, <laughs> tonight, but um, that's going to go right on over to them directly. And I will make sure that Buffy reports that it did. Um, I know that every now and again. Folks get a little questiony about whether their money's going to the actual cause it's supposed to, uh, but this is this is what we do, um, and this this is one of those things where when this happened, this is what I want this to be. This, this is why I want to do this kind of thing, not just because live streaming is fun for me and we get to have a good time together, but when we can do good things, I want to do good things. So that's another thing. If you guys have any causes, anything that's coming up, anything that we might be able to kind of uh, vet and support, let me know. And you can email me. Um, I'll put my email up later. Uh, but please email me and and I'll take a look at, at that cause and see what we can do for that. That's something that I really want to do. Um, but Let's go ahead and hop into. I think I think we could use a a, a top ten list about now. Um, are you ready for a, a top ten list? Yeah, I'm always, I'm always down for a top ten list. <laughs> All top right, here we go. Top 
All right, so I have two here, and I, I this is going to be a uh, uh, guest's choice. And the first one is the top 10 dangerous health fads and medical treatments used in the past. Um, and the, top, the other one is the top 10 bizarre but true drugs and their effects. I, I kind of like you, Obama's response. You like what now? Obama's response? Oh, I didn't see it. What'd she say? I, well, yeah, I think that's a good... You all are more than welcome to drop them in the chat, and uh, I'll pull them no, up in a little bit. But do you want health fads and medical treatments or drugs and their... Health fads and medical treatments. Okay. I had that one pulled up like I knew that was what you're going to pick, but that's definitely not true. Uh, okay. So health fads are nothing new, right? We've got them all over the place even today, but health fads are older than many people think. You see, the ancient Egyptians practiced strange methods of losing weight and treating illnesses, much like people do today, when it's really a lot of hard work and dedication um, at the, the end of it. Um, so people have done some crazy things to fix their bodies, and only science and the benefit of hindsight have proven them dangerous and or wrong. So we're going to go through these top 10 things, and uh, please jump in whenever. Um, so number 10, as just about anyone in the world knows, mercury is highly toxic, and it should never be ingested. That's not a good thing. Don't do it. Um, <laughs> uh, and we're warned against high levels of mercury in fish. People are wary of that substance. However, it wasn't always like that. Um, for centuries, mercury was the go-to treatment to cure syphilis. What? <laughs> <laughs> um, so if you know anything about the surprising that people would try anything to cure it it's debilitating it's horrific we've heard of many like serial killers and things that ended up having that and that caused like damage and just not good um but they try anything to cure it and if it's untreated it'll kill somebody now we use Wait, penicillin where did they put the mercury um oh should i what what is the rating in this chat I, I, will, I the rating is Hey Ho Show, which is its own rating in and of itself. <laughs> um, I was like, wait, where are we putting No, but here? truly, yeah. So it was either rubbed on the skin, injected, taken orally. And while it was a popular treatment until the mid 20th century, so until 1950s, it never worked. No kidding. <laughs> um, I probably killed If anything, it helps. That's exactly my next sentence. How did you know? It killed them faster, right? Um, so basically, it probably alleviated pain. Uh, but that's like cutting off the head to cure a headache, which at this point right now, I'd almost be willing to do. Uh, but it was it was proven that um, there eventually it was proven that a compound of mercurious mercurious chloride uh, did help in treating the disease. Disease, but that wasn't until 1910, and it was still fairly toxic. So don't do it. I, I wasn't planning on it, especially not now. I mean, right. we know better. We do better, but <laughs> mostly, mostly, we we've removed the mercury. We've added the horse paste. What are you going to do? <laughs> Wait a minute. What? <laughs> a horse ivermectin is horse paste. Oh, that's right. That's right. Yes. I forgot. We, we, we. <laughs> Sorry. You know I'm slow. You are not. We're not. Just, if you, if you bring. I just where the prison part was the other day. <laughs> if you bring the shoulder up, it'll speed, it'll speed everything. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, so number nine, number nine, um, we're talking about a treatment for mental illness. And that would, what, what do you know in terms of what they used to do to treat mental illness? Wasn't it like lobotomies and like that's exactly what um, it was electricity and stuff? Yeah, yes, lobotomies became popular in the U.S. back in 1936. By 1949, up to 5,000 of the operations were performed annually on patients as young as four years old. 
Oh, no. Now, if you're not sure about what this procedure is, I'm going to tell you. Um, it involves stabbing a long metal probe through the eye socket under local anesthesia so that the brain can literally be scrambled by sweeping through the frontal lobe. Scramble out. Um, no. In truly... Right. It's so the idea was to alter personality, and it did do that, but it also basically killed the patient, even though their bodies were still alive. And it was pra the, it was very popular, but by the 70s, it became highly criticized and was mostly phased out. Um, Long-term brain damage for tens of thousands of patients who could have been treated by something else, Jeez. like listening to them. Um, and they did so lobotomies. Children? That's fun. Yes, they did. Uh, unfortunately, there is a... the the. I've done a couple of cases where, um, you know, some of some of the criminals were put in hospitals yeah. and doing some of that background research on those hospitals and what they did. Like you think about um, I think American Horror Story had asylum uh, that season, um, asylum. Yeah. And yeah, that was that was kind of like that. Kind of like that. Yes, uh, it was very Shutter Island. Uh, very much so. Um, oh, is it really? I, I don't know if I knew that. Huh. I didn't know that. I learned um, so much from you guys. So that was number nine. <laughs> number eight is arsenic consumption for weight loss. Arsenic okay. and new lace? I don't know. <laughs> um, okay, but so how, how did they get there? Like what makes uh, them so, think that arsenic does that? It's worse. Uh, it's mostly associated with rat poison, but for some some time, people consumed it in the form of a diet pill. Uh, back in the 1800s, people in Austria began <laughs> ingesting arsenic in their coffee as a weight loss method. Uh, they put small amounts in their morning cup and increased it over a period of few weeks until so much. But... Yes, I, I am indeed. <laughs> um, so they'd lose weight, but they so so here's what happened, right? They'd increase the dose of arsenic until they started uh until they had the runs, and they would literally have the runs terribly having them lose it's like getting food poisoning basically on purpose. Um you lose weight, it's just not a preferred method, although it's quite so like um it's like poop tea. It's like the poop teas that yes. you, the influencers give you. Like, that's how you lose weight. Okay. That works. That's what it is. Um, and so this was used uh, well into the 1920s, uh, but it probably killed you more than helped you with the other yeah, thing. Okay. So that was number eight. Number seven. Um, there are a lot of ridiculous fad diets out there. There's the cookie diet, the cabbage. Um, sign me up. The cabbage soup diet. <laughs> oh, okay. I'll take that one. Take me off the email no, list for the awful. cabbage we soup. We did that. Diet. Did that like you did the, the cabbage soup? Or... You did the cabbage soup diet? Boy, I'm always on a diet. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> well. <laughs> um and then oh, my life. Yeah, but this is this one was deadly for sure and it was called the last chance diet. And it was back in 76 Dr. Robert Lynn marketed what he called the last chance diet by insisting the only way to stay thin and remain healthy was to eat nothing and consume only his magic tonic prolin. Um, the problem with the diet was that it required no exercise and prolin consisted of fewer than 400 calories of energy, which is far too low for any adult. Um, not only that, but that, that magic prolin was composed primarily of collagen, which is, which was literally nothing more than ground up hooves and the hides of animals killed at a slaughterhouse. Um, Wait, is that what? Yay! <laughs> or is that what it was? Uh, collagen. You're gonna ask. I. I, was I, don't, wanna I, I, <laughs> I don't, don't want to know because I don't want to know. I don't want to know. It's best not to know. Nobody. You don't want to know what's in it. No. The last, the yeah, last chance to be alive. Yes. Um, so the drink was little more than basically the leavings of animal waste that nobody wanted. 
And then it was turned into a beverage and he said it was liquid gold, but it also killed an estimated 30 people. And he was investigated by the FDA and don't do it. <laughs> That's all I got to say. Um, number six, back in Victorian England, this, although this was back in Victorian England, this is still happening today, which is very troublesome. And that is losing weight by purposefully ingesting a tapeworm. I've heard about that. I know I used to joke about wanting one. The, I mean, joking about it's one thing, but it's a bad idea. Um, because I'm kind of joking. You well, it's kind of joking. Right? You ingest a capsule that has a tapeworm egg. The egg hatches. The worm fully forms, feeds off the food a person consumes. So they can eat whatever they want and they won't gain weight. I'm down. But, Sign me up. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> You know, the, the problem is, is that once you do that, the getting it back, I mean, you can get it out, but that's not, it's not, not pleasant. Um, in Which terms the of ivermectin, right? Right. Yes. Yes. Chase See? it down. An ivermectin chaser. Um, so worms now are relatively easy to remove, but back in the 19th century, they had a number of dangerous methods where they had to get it out, which is swallowing a large metal cylinder which often choke the patient to purposefully poison oneself to get rid of the worm. <laughs> it's, it's not funny, but it is. It's like at it no is, point but... should you like ingest a tube. I mean, uh, I'm not going to say I didn't think about it. <laughs> don't say I don't think about it. I think that's a song, isn't it? That's a country song, right? Um, all right. Uh, so, so alcoholism is one of the most serious diseases that are obviously out there. It afflicts millions of people every day. So people have turned to all kinds of methods to, to treat it. And uh, for a lot of people who don't want to, or are unable to attend meeting type treatments, um, there's LSD potentially, <laughs> um, in the sixties. Cause of course it was in the sixties. <laughs> Research was conducted to determine whether or not dropping acid could curb a person's desire for alcohol. And uh, let's see, the mixed result study had mixed results was abandoned until recently. In 2012, researchers dove back into the collected data and began studying the effects of hallucinogenic medications on treating alcoholism. And it was effective in 59% of participants. So it's not the most far-fetched treatment, but I feel like if you're tripping out, you you're not going to get up, so you're not going to grab... I don't know. I don't know if that's long-term or what. So... I mean, it, it was mostly effective, oh. right? You said 59%? Yeah, 59% is... I mean, 60% is pretty impressive. Um, Lama says the founder of AA was big into that and believed in it. I did not know that. That's I amazingly mean, interesting. I wanted... One addiction for the other, so. Right? Well, yeah. All right. Number four is a, um, the title of this is Tobac Tobacco Enema and Other Crazy Stuff People Have Shoved Up Their Butts. Um, <laughs> so, have you ever told somebody to go blow smoke up their ass? I heard that. I heard about that. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. That's where it that came from. It comes from 18th century practice of blowing smoke up of somebody's butt in the form of tobacco enema. And it was developed into a common medical procedure used well into the late 1700s. The main use of the tobacco enema was to treat drowning victims. It was thought that the smoke would encourage a person's respiratory system to kick into gear, while the smoke literally helped to dry the person out. It worked about as often as you might think. Um... <laughs> So, in How, addition to tobacco smoke, huh? I'm just trying to figure out, like, where did that connect? How does that help drugs? Like, blowing something up your... Okay. It's a like, good question. I had no idea. Well, um, where's the, well, where was the connection there? <laughs> fair. Um, it's, I don't know, but apparently that's not the only thing. People have used an oil enema to treat constipation. I mean, you know, you oil things down, maybe it'll come out fine. Um, otherwise, <laughs> there's the alcohol enema. Um, 
let's see. The problem is, right, right? Anything that you put up there is going to be absorbed into the bloodstream like that. And so that's that's rough and dangerous. Um, I'm going to quickly go through three, two, and one because I want us to get to the video and then um, uh, Meso is going to join us. So number yeah, three is uh, bloodletting because that's a good way to solve things. Um, let's remove the blood so that there's less to fight the... It's just bad. Um, number two Ooh. is cough syrup, which is not strange, except this one back in the, let's see, 19th and early 20th centuries was laced with heroin. So, you know, give your kid, uh, give your kid some cough syrup with heroin. That's fine. And then finally, <laughs> yeah, it's true. Knock them out. Um, but finally was radium for everything. Um, many people thought that radium had miraculous health benefit benefits. Um, so it's just, you know, they, so before the effects of radiation on human cells was understood, companies put radium in products, including toothpaste, chocolate, water, and that continued into the 1930s. So only if you're caught, Shanka, only if you're caught. Um, well, now we know why people are the so, way they are. <laughs> Pull the radium and the toothpaste. <laughs> one of the many reasons. One of the many reasons. <laughs> All right. That's been your top 10 for the All right. So um, I have this video. You all know, be patient with the video. It's a little longer, but there's good reason. Um, this video kind of tells you a little bit about Slidell, its history. Um, you get a little bit of an idea of what it, what it is and what the community is. Um, and then moving into kind of what the tornado did. And you will meet... Uh, vicariously through this video the mother and son that we are working and helping to support um so i will pull us off of this the screen and then we will go straight into this video um ooh, uh, <laughs> all right let's see ah there we go all right so um we're gonna hop off personally just the two of us but um we will be right back can i hear it can you all hear it i'm expecting a billion people saying no sound Oh, you hear it. Okay, good. It's just me. Walking in the shadows, landscape from the things I want to escape. Knowing full and well, I'll stay connected with my head. Stillness over the water The traumatized heavy waters I used to be so young and free But now I'm bound by the bonds that be I know what I should do and I've known it for a long time And I've only got to do it Rain is formed by choices Be fast and then by the water See sure set the sails lower The bridge Right there, crossing the interstate Serene on earthly winds I blow in stones And dirty and clear eyes Throw in clarity Has 
that is like some last breath on earth. Read my name. Read my name. There it is. Power flash. It has been said. It's just a thing. Like a rail, smile on my face. I know what I can do, and I do. Struggle with destiny, and I get through. Wow. I wonder I feel blue. Big, big tornado. I once had a dream before standing on the chessboard floor, marble pillars out this castle clock things approaching. Church are down before my life got far in skylight whirling white A sign in the sky without knowing why a dream showed up and then Until your time is up Don't you ever give up I know what I'll give I need a little bit that I gotta forgive myself another one <laughs> All right, guys, we're in the area of Old Spanish Trail near Pine Tree Street, City Drive. Um, if you can see off in the distance, the Courtney Heights apartment complex took a pretty direct hit. Um, severe damage right across the road from there. Um, I believe it's ACO Builders. They, they have severe damage as well. Um, you can see the trees down, the power lines down, um, power poles leaning over. None of this is a safe area to currently be in. The Slotto Police Department, the Fire Department, and the Canadian Ambulance are out here assessing the scene, assessing victims. Um, we're activating our special response team, our SWAT team, to assist with uh, rescues and um, surveying the damage around the area. Again, we have another we have another couple of storms to come. Stay indoors, stay sheltered, um, and we'll provide updates along the way. Seriously, what, what, what's an update on Courtney Heights? Courtney Heights, uh, we got all the people out. Um, the whole how, many, roof. how many people were trapped in there? Basically, every apartment was uh, full, so I guess at least 50 people were up in there. Uh, people doors were, were shut because the uh, the railings came in, so we got that. The whole roof came out, so we had to get women and children out. It's pretty much flooded down there. Well, I'm pretty sure this is where the, uh, the tornado hit right here. So, but we got everybody out. They had a couple right across the street. Uh, nobody was injured. They had a couple of employees up in there. Nobody was injured, thank God, but we got them out too. So everything is good. Thank you. Thanks. All together. Thank you. Thank you. Guys, as you can as you can see, the path that the tornado took 
it, it it was it was reckless. You got roofs missing off of a, an apartment complex. People were trapped in there. They're now safe. No reported injuries from this area as of now. Um, but but the damage is it, um, the damage is unbelievable. And this is just the beginning. When we we're still making our way throughout the city to try to assess the totality of everything. Uh, but the storm was no joke. It was something that we haven't seen here in Slido. Like one Sunday morning, I grew up with a lot of She held in the dark, but now I'm just crying. Lonely boat on coastal water. Lonely tower on the dark, but doors that want to open a pool that's just for me. Walking in the shadows, landscape from the things I want to escape. Knowing for give you another live look at it right here, just so you can take a look at exactly the extent of the damage that they are dealing with here. Again, this is along Old Spanish Trail in Slidell. As you look at this building right here, you can see that bricks on the side of it were totally knocked off. They're now sitting here laying in the grassy area alongside some other debris. The roof doesn't exist anymore. And as you said, what is unbelievable is that 50 people were inside. Such good news that everyone is reported to be okay. That includes a mom and a son that are standing alongside me right here. This is Jennifer and Mason and Jennifer's stepdad right here. Guys, just walk me through the height of your morning. I imagine this was terrifying to live through well they, they canceled school today because of the weather so I we both slept in and I was sleeping and then I uh, woke up because I heard loud wind and my neighbors next door I could hear them screaming through the walls and I thought it was kids screaming at first but I realized it was them and the wind just kept getting louder and louder and I knew something wasn't right so that was loud. so I um so I ran into his room because he doesn't have windows in his room and I ran in I tackled him jumped on top of him I just screamed Mason it's a tornado and it just it happened so quick it was within seconds and then it was over and we were okay. Our, we had some leaks coming through in his bedroom and in our hallway it was leaking. Uh, we sat in my room for a little bit to kind of just decompress. And as we were sitting there, my ceiling caved in. So he went in his room, started um, trying to pack some things, and his ceiling caved in on him. Um, he's okay. So they just the fire department said, get out. It's not safe up there. So we got what we could, got the really important stuff, and just came downstairs. with got all of our baby at five. We had three dogs and two cats in the car. And so we and a turtle. So we rescued all them and got downstairs and waiting for him to be able to get here to pick us up so that we could um get out of here and go get dry. Y'all some... <laughs> been getting along so good this whole time. What the heck, guys? He said, I'm one that is the most important part is that you guys are okay. And, okay and it's tough as stuff. It's replaceable. We're safe. That's all that my son's safe. We got he graduates this month. We got all his graduation stuff out. Like we're good. It'll my car's destroyed, our apartment's destroyed, but it's we can We'll, we'll rebuild. It's okay. People have been through worse. We're all right. Mason, what was that like when your mom runs in and tackles you and then you see the ceiling start to cave in? I'll be honest, in the moment, it was kind of funny because I, I wake up and it sounds like there's a train running right outside my room. Uh, lights are flashing. It's insane. And suddenly she just runs in and like dives on me. I'm like, I what's going on? Sorry. And, and she goes, there's a tornado. And then we, you know, Got up after that. We're like, ah, it couldn't be that bad. Walked outside, destroyed. Everything's gone out front. Um, look out back. Everything's gone out back. Um, you know, as I was saying, sitting there, ceiling just dropped. We were like, oh, okay. And I, I immediately left to go start grabbing stuff out of my room. And then as I was grabbing stuff, the ceiling caved in on me, hit me in the head and the shoulder. I'm fine now. But in the moment, I was like, okay, everything's gone. Um, I tried to save what I could, but covered stuff with blankets. Um, but we'll see if I can get any of that back. You guys are okay, which is the most important part. Your little fur babies are okay as well. But what type of damage are you looking at inside of um, your unit? I mean, the ceilings are all caving in. My hallway, as we were getting ready to leave to come out, our hallway started caving in. So it's, it's looking like, I mean, it's going to be a total loss. I mean, we got, luckily, I'm not the kind of person that buys a lot of stuff. Like, I don't, because stuff is temporary so i don't have a ton of things to replace it's gonna be getting many clothes and 
figure out a car because my car is wiped out. But it'll it'll all work out. Uh, people who've been through worse stuff is stuff. Life life is more important. So. And just kind of help describe for me the atmosphere at the time when it really was at its worst. You said firefighters were kind of going door to door and saying, hey, you got to get out. I just, I didn't really feel anything. I just was like kind of still in shock. Like tornadoes are one of my biggest fears. And I woke up this morning and I actually tweeted on my Twitter account. I said, um, we have a storm coming today and I feel this weird sense of dread. And after it happened, I was like, I did and I felt dread for a reason. This is weird. Like we've never, I've never experienced a tornado in my lifetime. I'm 42. I'm like, so I just kind of sat there for a while, cried a little bit. He's cried a little bit, but I mean, once I'm sure once I get changed and dry and sit down, it's going to hit me and then I'm probably gonna have a whole breakdown, but it's okay. It's temporary too. And I hope that relief is coming for you very soon. What are your plans for the night tonight? You have a place to stay. You got shelter, a roof over your head. My mom and stepdads till we figure out what we're going to do. I have a place, thankfully. I know a lot of people don't, so I'm grateful for that. Definitely. Well, we're so glad that you guys are okay. I hope you are able to dry off soon because I know that that's so much to go through and it's obviously starting to really heavily pour again out here. Y'all take care. Thank you, so Thank you for sharing your story. Yes, you hear there that they do have a safe place to go, which is good, but we have heard about two shelters. If you are someone in the St. Tammany area, who is needing a place to go if you need a warm place to be right now, a dry place to be. That is the rec center in Lacombe and John Slidell Park in Slidell. Those are two shelters that we have heard of that St. Tammany Parish government officials have opened up, especially as people who lived through this are right now looking for a place to go. Travers. Yeah, Elizabeth, what an incredibly optimistic uh, state of mind right there for those people who have just lost everything they realize what's important there we'll come back to you stand by let's turn things around Oh, oh man. Uh, that's, that's a lot. That's a lot. It is. It is. And my heart breaks for um, her. Yeah. No, I think any, anybody who, who watched the interview, number one, is super amazed by her positivity. Um, but also, I mean, heartbroken. Um, you know, I... I experienced a hurricane years and years ago. It hit a, a, you know, tree came down, shifted the whole roof. I thought that that was terrible. This That's not even close, not even close um, to what they have experienced. Um, not, not only the fear during, but also after and for the foreseeable future. Um, so hopefully we can do some good tonight. Um, have, do you, have you talked to her? lately um how's she doing um i know that they were able to go back to the apartment building um and kind of go through and see what they could salvage um some of her clothes were untouched so she was able to get some clothes but it doesn't look like she's gonna be able to get much um she uh they she is staying at her her mom and her stepdad and they literally just got power back two hours ago. So, oh. yeah. And um, for now, she's starting to look for a new place to live. Um, and she got a rental car. So, okay. Oh, good. For a couple of days. Um, for a couple of days, but she is starting to look for a new place to live. Yeah, so so if if you all are, are are feeling up to it and can, 
please head to that website. Um, I will be sharing that screenshot with the QR code. That'll take you right there. I'll put that on all the socials. You can find those um, True Crime and Wine Time. Uh, Brew Crime is my other podcast. Um, it'll also be on my personal stuff, which is mostly JT Brews Crime. So um, find me there, and then uh, I'll share that. And feel free to share that out. Um, you could even screenshot it if you want to. If you're a screenshotter, you can screenshot it. Um, okay, so we have we have we have heard from mom and son. We have heard from Buffy, who have been on the ground. Now we're going to introduce Meso Hunter, who chases these phenomena. I'm going to call them phenomena. Uh, and has a has has a very interesting background. And just to kind of talk about, you know, what what goes on, how he kind of preps for that, and then talk about how we can prep for for tornadoes, uh, both before, after, or before, during, and after, and kind of some hints and tips. So I'm going to go ahead and bring him on the screen, ideally. Uh, it's saying that a microphone is not. <laughs> Let's see here. Oh, no problem. Just make sure. You have typing. Okay, got it. Okay. Um. So, uh, Mesa, are were were you gonna do audio or just the typing? Because that's totally fine. Um, we can kind of talk as you're answering questions too. Uh, I've got the the chat up to to read what you're what you're saying, or you can chat in the YouTube as well. Um. And uh, Angie has has pasted um, uh, his YouTube channel. Uh, while we're kind of working that out, let me go ahead and bring up uh, um, his trailer on his channel, and we can watch that too. Uh, here we go. I thoroughly appreciate you screaming at them saying, this is not going to help. Do better. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay. So, so Mesa is going to actually talk within the YouTube chat and we'll bring up his stuff, um, which is great. Howdy. I, I am just, I am amazed by the, the idea of, and I, I understand the importance of just, driving directly into something like that um at some point we have to understand and the, the the closer we are the more we experience the more we can understand um and having a a venue like youtube live or wherever you broadcast those things it's just i think i think it's important um the storm, the tornado, the hurt, it's going to happen no matter what. So we might as well learn from it, I think, is, is really what I'm saying. Um, and the more we learn from it, the more we can prep for it. Um, so if you have questions for Meso Hunter, feel free to pop them in the chat. Um, and, and he's there kind of to answer your questions. Um, he's, uh, you're more than welcome to introduce yourself um, and, and, and either your background or what got you into doing this. And um, 
trying to think of anything else. Oh, and any kind of tip hints, tips. Obviously, you were given some tips at the very end of that trailer, which was this ain't gonna this ain't gonna help you. <laughs> um, so if you have any tips for for prep, that's great. I also have a couple of things that I can kind of read off, but you're in it. And then eventually we'll have to have you on with audio and things too, because I'd like to have you come back for sure. Um, yes, Shanka, you're right. The real storm, not the Chad Daybell storm. Um, one of those is effective and the other one is not. Um, <laughs> so, um, yeah. So I'll let you guys kind of pass it. You guys talk back and forth in there and I'll bring up answers as they happen. Um, Buffy, do you want to give us an update on kind of what's the what's the recovery looking like what's the uh, you know i guess what what state and we seen that we saw the pictures in the video right of slidell i mean and i mean we saw the ones prior you know and post with the destruction the ones prior i mean it is gorgeous there's no other way to describe that it is really pretty I, I have no idea. I know that our mayor said this is probably the worst destruction that we've seen since Katrina. So that's saying a lot because I was there for Katrina too. Um, but I, I, I can't even begin to imagine how long it's going to take. To, uh, those buildings are a mess. Um, uh, when I was driving there this morning, I... They just don't do it justice. I mean, there's so much. It's so bad. I started, oh my God, I started crying just driving down the road because it was like, oh my gosh. Like, I it, have um, been to these places. I was there last week. Like, you know, it's just seeing it today is just like, it's not what it looked like. Yeah. And, and like, not only not only was it a tornado um but you also had what eight to 12 inches of rain was it like that it was in there marley moore um, um yeah probably about that well, yeah about well and, and that's the that's the difficult part is because not only do you have the wind and the and the tornado and and all of that and the debris but then once roof everything once that damage happens then you have the constant rain that is just getting everything it's just destroying everything um it's like mm -hmm. it's like the exclamation point at the end of the sentence right um is is the water receding um yeah there in some places it went down pretty fast like for me i'm surrounded by bayous um, so the water came up really fast and we didn't know where it was, I mean, we didn't know where it was coming from. Like water comes in places and you're like, I don't know, it's like flowing and you don't know where it's coming from and it doesn't stop even when the rain stops. So, I mean, it did go back down, but we don't have pumps. We don't have any of that inside out. We just have lots of retention ponds and once they overflow everybody else does too so. but yeah if you saw in some of those pictures you could see the water in some of the buildings had got pretty high um that's because we have terrible drainage here. <laughs> oh <laughs> you know I was seeing some of the, the, the video from you of the water and where it was flowing. And I was like, I feel like it should be flowing the other way, but it's not, it, it's coming. What <laughs> it's, it's like your, your yard's pretty flat. Correct. Um, actually, believe it or not, JT, when you saw the video from my house, um, I'm at actually up high. I'm on a hill. So it is slowing down. Oh, so it is going okay. So it's going down from. I mean, I'm not okay, on a cool. hill. Like for Louisiana people, that's a hill. Like you people in the mountains with actual hills would be like, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> you're you're at the top and I'm at the bottom of the hill, and uh, I get the top, which is terrible. Ugh, it's a whole thing. 
the whole thing. Well, I, I'm, I'm, and I know that your water is receded. Do you, that one picture of the highway, which I think you call the causeway, right? Yeah. Um, the causeway is the bridge that connects north, the North shore to new Orleans. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That, that highway that was there though, on that photo, the before and after photo mm -hmm. has, has that water receded or is it pretty much sitting there? I don't, don't know. Out. I have no idea. Um, I am kind of in the mindset that I, there's so much, there's so many trucks, so many work trucks. There's so many workers out that like, I feel like I'm interfering, which, you know, I could have got pictures to show like from my own view this morning, three days later, but I didn't because I didn't want to stop and like interfere with progress. Like these people, this is these people's lives and their businesses. And I didn't want to like be out there just taking pictures and stuff, but um, yeah. But there, yeah. Uh, I, the, I saw somebody say hi. I, oh, wait. <laughs> we, we just need, uh, what we need to do is we need to get a bunch of, 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 of earth and we just need to raise the whole area up. <laughs> but so we can raise you guys up in other ways. Um, uh, there, there are plenty of places out there. I, I, Red Cross is probably doing some work. So look for, for those places um, to, to donate. And, and of course, again, once again, down at the bottom, you've got the, at the website uh, where you can donate directly to um, Jennifer and I'm blanking. Mason. Blanking on. Thank you, Mason. Good grief. Jennifer and Mason um, to help them out. And I was, I was briefly talking to Buffy before this. And, you know, the, the reason that I put the video together was to add some humanity to it because we see it on the news and we see it in, you know, unless we've directly experienced it, you can remove yourself because you got the screen in between you, and still you do here. But kind of shove the only way to the only way for people to understand what this is like is just kind of shove it in their face. That's why I kind of like what Meso Hunter does is is because it it just it's in your face, and and not only that, but there are real people impacted by this and will be impacted for a long time to come, and you know, it's very easy to be like, I don't know them or I've never gone through this or whatever and kind of push it, push past it. But that's, that's not what we should be doing. Um, we do need to be helping each other out. We need to take this and use it to kind of pull ourselves together and assist in so many different ways. Um, this is just one of those ways. Um, and the, the reason why, obviously, you know, I chose Jennifer and Mason is because one, she's, she's a friend of yours who, who has experienced a huge loss, but uh, going directly to somebody where it can help them uh, directly is something that I like to do because you don't have to worry about a middleman. So, right. <laughs> your, your kids are yelling, Mom. <laughs> yeah. Mom. There's a whole dad in the living room, though. So, I don't know why they need mom. <laughs> Be because you're, for the same reason that mine need mom, right? Um, you know, this was this this was little Bruce crime. Uh, he he's learning to little little Bruce crime. He um he's learning to spell and write. He's he's five, um, but he also loves the turtles, and so he drew that for me. But that this was after this was this was after he drew moms. So, <laughs> well, but I'm fine with that. Oh no. Wait a second. This is good. Uh, smack in the middle. No. Oh, here we go. Okay. So in terms of safety, number one, plan, plan, plan. Uh, um, just something to have. Like write something up, print it out, and laminate it. And put it in your pantry or your closet or your whatever. Um <laughs> I was I was talking to my kids about what we would do if something were to happen, and I was like, "We're definitely going under the stairs because that's the central place in the house." Uh, and my son was like, "It's so small. 
And I'm like, we'd make it work. It would be us, you, and the three dogs. We would make it work. It would not be fun or comfy, but it's going to work. And it's, so. it's not. The pantry wasn't very big either. Because you, you, really you have the two. You, you've got bigger kids than I do. Well, one, one bigger do. kid. Um, and three, three animals? Two dogs, one cat. Two dogs, one cat. So three total. Yes, yeah, which are just like children. Are not going to fit in the tree together. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, you know. Yeah. Um, here we go. Yes, there you go. Be ready to get to the lowermost inner room if shelter is not available. Um, so if you are unable to. Anything. Well, you know. You no, know, and and like you and I with the water, your water table is a lot higher than mine is, but uh, we don't have basements. Um, so unless you live in a super old house, there's no basement. So find something that is on that first floor within uh, within the home. No windows. Um, I was watching some videos, kind of showing my kids the power of this, so that they can under not understand it, but at least respect it. And um, there was a guy. There was a tornado coming at their area and he kept going to the window and to the door and i just kept it was like a horror movie where you're like don't go through the door i was like go back i like i don't care if there's no content go back inside inside um so <gasps> it's hard it's hard to explain to a kid kind of the the immense power it's hard to explain to an adult the immense power if you haven't gone through it the sound of a train it sounds silly but that's what it sounds like um a pea soup sky sounds silly but that's kind of what it looks like it's rough and i think you said yours was didn't happen it when we woke up i knew it was going to be weird when we woke up it was actually yellow like the sky was yellow and it stayed that way like all day i mean it got really really hazier and yellower like as it deteriorated but deteriorated but as i uh when we woke up, the sky was yellow, which is really weird. So, I mean, we don't see tornadoes very often here. So, no, and, and with that. we've, yeah, you've had storms and tornadoes, and 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 we we've had the eclipse, and on top of that, we didn't have an eclipse. Cicadas are coming in trillions, so it's going to be fun. I'm waiting for the. You still there? Okay. I don't know. Okay. I it started I lost spinning. The sound. It's spinning again. Um are you, can you hear me now? Yeah. Okay. Okay, good, good, good. Uh so we've got cicadas and all kinds of stuff. Oh no. Um yes, use your phone. Uh also uh no use the never eat slimy worms or never eat shredded wheat to know the north south east west but but use your phone well that's probably not the issue the issue is you're not sure which way is which use your phone use your phone's compass um because uh if uh, i didn't say it out loud but meso hunter said if something like this is happening in your inner car drive due east um drive east and i think that's because on this side weather travels east like it travels west to east right um but if you're well i don't know uh i'll let meso answer that i'm not going to even try and guess why you drive east i'm not a weather person i i'm thinking about it though i'm thinking about it um <laughs> bell bells i'm sorry i didn't mean to assume that you didn't know what what the compass rose was <laughs> It's it is it's a matter of just trying to figure out where's the sun rising setting where is it, um, but oh here we go, east because most times tornadoes travel northeast so this would likely avoid the path if you if you go directly east but uh, it's not one hundred percent of the time but turn on local news, um, local news will tell you the path of the travel now. It's great that we have phones now. If we have battery, you know, definitely get some like solar chargers or, or those battery those bricks that you can charge um it's you know local news comes on but then the power goes out so it's only as good as you can access it um so you know make sure you've got some backups for your battery 
uh, a generator, things like that, um, especially if you're in an area where there are tornadoes and hurricanes regularly. Uh, um, but, uh, oh, look at me. I can't finish the sentence right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having a hard time. Um, yes, that. Uh, the folding folding solar panel is good. Uh, <laughs> I just ordered a it's storm okay. radio because oh, good. obviously my cell phone failed big time during this one. Well, and and, and that's yeah. the other that's the other thing. If you don't have power, you don't have Wi Fi. If you don't, if the cell towers are out, you don't have cell. So, bleak. And if you know, the and, and it's service scary. in your area goes down, you're not going to get an alert either because we didn't get any tornado alert. That's that's interesting too because of how long we were watching it before it happened. That there were, it felt, felt like <laughs> it felt like we should have been streaming us following it <laughs> because. Oh. <laughs> If but. I didn't have y'all to scream at me and tell me, get in the pantry, like, because I'm like, I don't know what's happening. I mean, I kept coming in the chat, get down the chat, and like, I kept bouncing because I lost signal. And I swear, if I didn't have not a drama llama to scream obscenities at me to make me understand, <laughs> I would have, I would have, I would have, right. uh, right. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> so um everybody uh I, I agree with this find a good youtuber you trust um don't be afraid to ask questions um meso saying that he always answers questions for viewers if he can and so you know meso is a good one uh uh to to follow so, um angie is uh has been posting that link in in chat um, you also can just go to YouTube and search Meso Hunter, and first one that comes up. Um, yep, that's pretty much what it was. That's yes, that is the G-rated version of what that was. Um, it was when it she, was. when she sent that, and I read it. I immediately myself wanted to find a pantry, even though I was I was at work. So <laughs> I thought I was in trouble. <laughs> um, let's see. So self learned. NWS employees and a meteorologist. Okay. Yeah. Um, while we're kind of going through some of that, uh, remember again that I'm not great with telethon kind of streams. <laughs> this is kind of a telethon kind of stream. So, but down there below is the the link to head over to donate. Um, you'll notice that I switched it. Uh, apparently, you can switch from coffee and beer now. So, so now you're donating helping hands, um, which is kind of cool um and so if you are able again if you're able please don't feel bad if you are not able but if you are able please head down there um and donate and we'll get that over to jennifer mason um while we are while we're chatting and stuff i think we probably we probably should do the quiz um what do you think about that are you ready for that let's do it let's do it so that i can all right Right. Well, listen, everybody, it is time to go over the, the last, the first trivia, uh, the first quiz we did, and then move on into the second one. And here's. It's that time of the show again. I'd like to do a quiz. I quite like the quiz. Have a listen to the question and chat what the answer is. Okay, I get it. It's your chance to show us that you're smart. I am very smart. And if you fall to pieces, well, at least you've played a part. That's okay. It's like watching pointless or going on the chase. So just sit back and relax and let us quiz on your face. Oh, no, I don't like the sound of that. Quiz on your face. Oh, no, come on, please, no. Quiz on your face. No, stop that. Stop it. Stop it. Quiz on your face. Oh, it's everywhere. Welcome everybody to the Hey Ho Shows, the Hey Ho Trivia Show. I'll get that right one day. <laughs> um, Angie just posted the, the 
the for thank you. Uh, and she just posted the Google form. Uh, we have a Google form for the quiz. You can join this whenever. If you didn't do last week's, do this week's. You can always come. You can always enter. Um, yes, uh, please don't answer in chat. I'm going to go over the rules. Um, this the last quiz was on March 22nd. It is so sad that we've had to delay like we did, but so much has happened. Um, but here are the rules. There are 10 questions. Sometimes they're multiple choice. True or false. Short answer. In this case today, well, you'll find out. Uh, each player has um, will have from the presentation of the quiz until the following Friday at midnight to complete the quiz. This past quiz, I extended that pretty much until we went live. You can ask Buffy. Um, <laughs> I was like, oh, let me check real fast. Um, and so I would love to have as many as can answer uh, as possible. And so um, at the conclusion of the round, I'll score the quizzes. We'll have updated standings the following Friday during the show. Um, please refrain from using um, Mesa. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, I, I would love to have you on. Um, to, to chat with you uh, kind of a little more directly um, and fluidly uh, about kind of your experience, the back, you know, back door, you know, what kind of the, the, the background stuff. So, um, oh, that's three minutes. Ooh, that's scary. Um, yeah. So, so thank you so much. And uh, I would love to have you back on. So we're going to have to make that work. Um, and maybe Rudy will be here too. And we can talk to you about that. Um, and if you know her too, we can talk to you about that as well. Cause a lot of our view, a lot of our folks live on kind of the coast line. So that would be awesome. So thank you so much for joining and for kind of posting about, about this, um, on your side. And what, what I'll do is I'll add your, I'll add your, um, your channel to our affiliate list on true crime wine time. So we'll make sure that you're there so people can click on it too. That'll make it easy. Um, okay, so we're going to go over the answers for last week. And uh, everybody did really well. Um, everybody did really well. This is actually the quiz form link. Um, and uh, you're more than welcome to scan it or click the link that, um, that um, Angie did. Or the other easy thing is to write down your answers and then go to the, the form later. Um, okay. Oh, sweet. Okay. That's good. That's good to know. That's good to know. Um, all right. So we did movie quotes last week. So the first question, frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. What is it, Buffy? It is Gone with the Wind. Ta-da! Gone with the Wind. It is indeed. Frankly, my dear, I don't. I don't believe it. Number two, you talking to me? Which one's that? That's taxi driver. It sure is. It is taxi driver. Um, that movie is a mind f. <laughs> um, I've never seen it. For lack of a better. Um. Question three, love means never having to say you're sorry. What do you think? It's definitely Mean Girls. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> totally not at all. <laughs> <laughs> Stop trying to make fetch happen. Um, no, no, I haven't yet. I haven't yet. I'm doing it in between the review and then the new one. Um, all right, number four. I'll have what she's having. That's definitely when Harry met Sally. It sure is. <laughs> I, I remember that part. <laughs> I'm telling, if if somebody if somebody ever said that to, you know what? There's no good way that sentence is going. So we're just going to continue <laughs> on. Gonna but say, five. Please continue. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Carpe diem, seize the day, boys. Make your lives extraordinary. No. No? You want to just no. guess? All right. Well, it's Dead Poet Society. Have you seen Dead Poet Society? Mm -mm. Oh, we need to have that moment. Hey, head, uh, everybody, head over to the courtyard. Just join. Uh, Llama has just added a bunch of events um, to include hold on 
I'm going to use this as a as a way to to um there we go. Okay. Hold on. Let me just go through some of these events that are happening. Uh, we're doing a double mystery, uh, a double feature um, murder. Hold on. Uh, yeah. Double feature of murder mystery and murder mystery two. Uh, Game of Thrones season one trial and error, which is hysterical. Um, we're doing some some documentary, true crime documentaries, Doctor Who, uh, Game Nights, um, The Circle. And of course, you know, in in there is always the announcement of when true crime and wine times going going forward or going live. So definitely check out the Discord. Uh, we got a lot going on in there. Number six: What disease is commonly spread on pirate ships? This is not a quote; it's just a question. Scurvy. Yes, scurvy. Arr. Uh, I should have worn my brown pants tonight. Scurvy. That makes sense. That makes sense if you know the joke. Um, <laughs> I didn't even say the joke. It's just awkward now. Uh, what company was originally <laughs> called Cadabra? Um. Oh, I know this one. Amazon. Yes, it was. Amazon was originally called Cadabra. I think they did a good move. Yeah. Uh, in move in changing that. Uh, what do you call a dog that does magic? Wait, are you? No, I don't. What? But what do you? What you do call you, you call them a, a labracadabrador. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I told you that just to get the face in my mind every time I tell a bad joke. Um, now I know <laughs> which one I'm. Uh, so yes, it was. <laughs> it's Amazon. True or false? Halloween originated as an ancient Irish festival. True. So it is true. Um, it is not. It's not technically Irish. It's Celtic. Some of you all got that right, um, uh, and added that, so you got an extra point for it. So it is true. Uh, question nine: Where did sushi originate? China. Okay. So when I wrote this question, when I wrote this question. What I found was China. However, I saw some people put Japan, and so I was like, you know what? I live there. Let me just do a little bit of research. It is all over the place. There, people are like, China, Japan, Japan, China, China, Japan. So I just gave you points if you did either one, because I'm not, I'm not about to have a, a Wizard of Oz or a Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs situation again. Well, <laughs> China so. started it, and Japan did it better. I mean, it, it's okay. <laughs> Oh, either way, there is no sushi like Japan sushi. Um, all right. In what state is the NFL Hall of Fame located? I can tell you it's not Ethan, Wisconsin. Is Canton, Ohio? Yes, it is Canton, Ohio. You're smarter than a fifth grader. I think that's that's a game show. I don't think um, so. <laughs> you don't you know so <laughs> so listen here's our top uh like i said we need more people we need to make this uh this uh, competitive so uh and and by the way uh the top the top four are tied for first uh it just ended up going one two three four so uh linda angie bells and shanka and captain you're just one behind so you're not really even behind either um no definitely not here not not at all um <laughs> So, um, no, 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 just tied, tied, uh, top four tied. So well done, y'all. Well done. So here's the next one. It's trivia night, but in the form of Jeopardy. That's my, it's not as, uh, I probably should have workshopped that. that. Yeah. Yeah. I should have workshopped that. <laughs> I feel like, I feel like that's appropriate. I feel like that's that's right, you know. It um, works. It works. You can do it. <laughs> <laughs> so, so everybody, again, write down your answers. Now, while this is Jeopardy, the questions and answers are in the form of Jeopardy, but this is, these are multiple choice. And I put, um, I got us 
suggestion for uh, putting the letters by the answers. So when you go to the form, all you need to do is put in the letter. You don't need to write the whole answer out. So that makes it a little bit easier for everybody. I think Angie reminded me that that's what I did on Night Court. <laughs> so, uh, so here we are. Um, all right. So question one. This epic poem by Homer is about the fall of Troy. A, what is the Odyssey? B, what is Hippolytus? C, what are the poetics? Or D, what is Bradus Pittacus? Hippolytus sounds like a disease. It does. It does indeed. However, it is not. So, <laughs> oh, Angie, can you drop the link for the answer sheet again? Thank you. Um, or any any mods um, can do that. Um, but again, you can always write it down. Yes, and no answers, no answers in the chat, no answers in the chat. All right. So want to get once again, this epic poem by Homer is about the fall of Troy. A, what is the Odyssey? B, what is Hippolytus? C, what are the poetics? Or D, what is Bradus Pittacus? That's a book that I would read a couple of times. Um <laughs> <laughs> I get All right, it. question two. Ah, this city is known as the Eternal City. A, what is Rome? B, what is Glasgow? C, what is Accra? Or D, what is Columbus? Known for their uh, rain and their other tornadoes. That's another tornado town recently. Columbus. Uh, a, what is Rome? B, what is Glasgow? C, what is Accra? And D, what is Columbus? The Eternal City. Well, I, I definitely Ohio. You know, Bowling for Soup had a wonderful song called Texas. Or no, it's called Ohio, and in parentheses, come back to Texas. It's fantastic. And I'd play it if it didn't get me kicked off of YouTube. So, <laughs> although I wonder if Jared would give me permission, he might. That would be interesting. Uh, all right. Number three. All right, you go ahead and read this one. That's on. That's you. Me. The study yes. of life is known as this. What is herbatology? Herbatology. Herbatology. B. What is scatology? C, what is garbology? And D, what is biology? Yes. And um, I can't really tell you what these things are, or it'll give you the answer, but the these are actual ologies. I did not make any of these up. <laughs> not one of them. Um... <laughs> Follow the yellow brick road. All right, so that's question three. Uh, the study of life is known as this, herpetology, scatology, garbology, or biology. Question four. This purchase doubled the size of the United States in 1803. A, what is the Louisiana Purchase? B, what is the annexation of the Vermont Republic? C, what is the Texas annexation? Or D, what is the Gasden Purchase? Do, 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 do. <laughs> Wait, what what sound bite? Which one? The one being like, no, this isn't the Wizard of Oz. Or, yeah, or the follow the yellow brick road. Follow the yellow brick road, yeah. Follow the yellow I'm brick gonna road. Be it's gonna be my ringtone. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh the purchase doubled the size of the United States in 1803. Louisiana purchase, annexation of the Vermont Republic, Texas annexation, or Gasden purchase. Which one was it? Do you know? I do. Yeah. <laughs> Number five. We'll just switch off. You go. <laughs> oh, the French novelist. Is, wait, this French novelist is famous for Les Miserables. A, who is... Can you give me the one I can't pronounce? Who is 
Franz Kafka. Did I say that right? You got it. B, who is Victor Hugo? C, who is Joel Osteen? D, who is Stephen King? The hardest part about reading these questions is, saying the is getting past the wrong ones. <laughs> Uh, so, is it Franz Kafka, Victor Hugo, Joel Osteen, or Stephen King? I remember being assigned Les Miserables in school. Actually, I, I was assigned it in ninth grade to read. And all I could think of was, this is Les Miserables. This is Les Miserables. Reading this is... <laughs> ninth grade was Les Miserables. Twelfth grade was Crime and Punishment. They both were what they said, but I ended up loving them in the end. So Wait, you you read that? Oh. When you were in like high school? Yeah, Les Miserables was in yeah, the Les Miserables was freshman like, and then uh Crime and Punishment purpose? was soft, uh, senior year. Like you did that on your Well, own? it was assigned to us. Oh, okay. No, no, it was assigned to us. It was, yeah. But I but I have read that. Crime and Punishment. After that. No, no, no. <laughs> I was I was at a kind of I was at a I was like at a casual version of a private school, but was also college prep, and so it it meant nothing for my brains. You know that. I mean, you you know me long enough. <laughs> so, um, all right. Uh, Angie said, "Use an accent for Les Misérables." Wait, a French accent? Oh, I don't, I don't, I don't do anything, but. Louisiana. <laughs> she doesn't do anything but Buffy. I do Buffy. My gosh, your shirt, it, your, your shoulder, it moved. It went from it one side to the other. It, it flipped. <laughs> it's not the only now. thing. Uh, <laughs> question six. Originating from India, this is a popular spiced creamy tomato sauce dish. A, what is curry? B, what is tandoori chicken? C, what is naan? Or D, what is buttered chicken? Curry, tandoori chicken, naan, and or buttered chicken. It's not and or. It's, it, there's not when more than one hungry, answer. <laughs> when, you, when you came up with these questions? The, the, the better question is, when am I not hungry? Um. And my dad bod will tell you I am never not hungry. So, um, dad bod strong. <laughs> All right. You're up. Okay. This element has the highest atomic number that occurs naturally. A, what? Oh, come on. You gave me the hard words to say again. Use, use, uh, it's an S instead of a C. A, what is cesium? B, what is curium? C, what is radium? And D, what is xenon? There you go. The only one is, I think it's cesium, but I don't know. Cesium, <laughs> cesium, tomato, tomato. Let's call the whole damn thing off. Um, which really, I mean, if you can't pronounce things and, and your, your other half doesn't pronounce it the same way, you probably shouldn't call it off. Uh, although if you're willing to call it off for that, maybe you should call it off. The whole red flag. <laughs> just, just, just call it off. The whole thing. Don't lie. <laughs> he lies. <laughs> we know better than that. Yep. All right, question eight. This film franchise won the Best Picture Oscar in 2003, becoming the first fantasy film to do so. A, what is Lord of the Rings? B, what is Star Wars? C, what is The Matrix? Or D, what is Dune? Guaranteed, there is a llama that is spitting the answer immediately. You, you have checked to the last question. <laughs> That's fair. It, it was kind of off the wall. Um, now you're ruining somebody's streak here. I might be. Uh, so the film franchise won Best Picture Oscar in 03, becoming the first fantasy film to do so. 
Lord of the Rings, Star Wars, The Matrix, or Dune? Question nine. Your turn. <laughs> she became the first female prime minister of the United Kingdom in 1979. A, who is Liz Truss. B, who is Theresa May. C, who is Margaret Thatcher, and D, who is Boris Johnson. There's always a giveaway. <laughs> I can't help it. That one, I couldn't stop laughing. Yep. I don't know. You know, I just, I know I will never forget him just because his hair was always waving at me. I always felt like it was waving at me. Um, <laughs> So your your options are Liz Truss, Theresa May, Margaret Thatcher, and or Boris Johnson. Boris Johnson. If you put D, I'm taking a point away. <laughs> just gonna toss that out there. Hey. It's going away. Wait, what? It's not. Shanka, put the right answer in the in the in the thing, and I will make sure. And if that's the case, everybody's gonna get that point. That's how that works. So let me know, because I will take your chemistry major over me doing a random search for trivia questions. <laughs> this is Shunka's Wizard of Oz. Oh, no. <laughs> it's it's we had a Wizard of Oz gate and now we have element gate. It's just I don't know what to tell you. Oh, well. My All right. Last one. <laughs> That's why I love doing this show. Uh, question 10. This coffee shop was the location of many a conversation in the hit TV show Friends. A. What is Central Perk? B. What is Perky R Us? C. What is Starbucks? Or D. What is Caribou Coffee? Central Perk. Perky R Us. I just wanted to say that on stream. <laughs> Starbucks or Caribou what? Coffee? <laughs> I need a t-shirt. Can't do it a third time. <laughs> I need a I need a t-shirt. It's a perk you are. <laughs> yes. Tell me. <laughs> Tell me what it is. <laughs> I've never been happier right now. <laughs> if you want to correct, if you ever want to correct me, this is the way to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Uranium. What did I put down? Watch. I bet you I had the right answer too in front of me, and I put the wrong. I, you know what? Everybody, just write JT. You're ridiculous in the answer. <laughs> uh, yeah, I I guarantee you that it said uranium, and I wrote radium because welcome to my brain. Um, no, radium also I was doing... is in the toothpaste. That's true too, but so I, I wrote this brain. I had radium. That assumes that I read the top 10 list before I presented it to you all. <laughs> and oh, so I did not. Out, JC. Take the out. I don't, I don't need no out. We don't need no stinking out. I'll own it every time. Every time. Um, all right. So uh, the last thing that I want to do tonight before um, before we go off uh, off air is to give you just a few things i know that meso uh hunter i know he gave some some how to's or what to do um but i kind of want to cover what to do for a tornado um and and a lot of this is similar to the hurricane thing but uh the first thing is to know your area's tornado risk the midwest and the southeast have a greater risk uh, know the signs of a tornado, which is rotating funnel-shaped cloud, approaching cloud of debris, a loud roar like a freight train. See? Uh, and this is by ready.gov forward slash tornadoes. The first question was... One second. The first question was... For it? Uh, the first question question was this epic poem by homer is about the fall of troy a what is the odyssey b what is hippolytus c what are the poetics or d what is bradus pittacus yeah. hold on
I'm having a moment. I'm having a moment where I'm questioning everything that I ever did. Um, Should I juggle to keep them occupied? Should you juggle? Maybe. Quite possibly. I'm having a moment where I'm thinking I don't have the right answer for this one either. That's not it. I think I think I don't have the right answer in that selection. I'm telling you, don't do these things uh, while also working. Everybody gets a point for this one. It's definitely the Iliad. It's not the Odyssey. Uh, and I don't have the Iliad on here. Um, so it's Bratis Pitticus. Um, <laughs> that was my answer. What are you going to do? Um, OK, my bad, everybody. You can have the most expensive equipment ever, and it's still going to mess up on you. Okay. Uh, okay. So sign up for your community's warning system. The emergency alert system and NOAA weather radio also provide emergency alerts. If your community has sirens, then become familiar with that warning tone. Um, really, they the tones that they pick are annoying, but not necessarily get your attention. So everybody needs to find like an actual, like, oh, no. It, we need to listen to this. Uh, I think there should be a fun sound. Um, I don't think there should be a fun sound. Sound by you singing about the Wizard of Oz. We make that our, our warning. It's a twister, a twister. I work. See, I would run. really. It should, <laughs> it should be <laughs> cow, another cow. That's the same cow over and over and over and over again. Um, that's true. Not every area has sirens. We don't have sirens Oops. here either. Oh, boy. Yuck. So, if not that, then the other things. Um, pay attention to the weather reports. Uh, sometimes um, there's predictions in terms of conditions and how they're right for a tornado. Um, also, as Meso said, find a YouTuber that does this and somebody that you trust. Um, A lot of YouTubers love to answer those questions. So, um, um, identify and practice going to a safe shelter, such as a safe room um, or a storm shelter built to ICC 500 standards. Um, the next best protection is a small interior windowless room or a basement on the lowest level of a sturdy building. Um, on top of that, um, plan for your pet. If you have pets, plan for them. That's one less. That's one less thing that you have to be worried about. So plan for that for sure. Uh, and then prepare for long-term stay at home or sheltering in place. Gather emergency supplies, cleaning supplies, non-perishable foods, water, medical supplies, and medication. Um, so that's prepping um, to stay safe during. Get to that safe location you've identified. Pay attention to local alerting system, news, EAS, uh, NOAA weather radio. Um, protect yourself as best as you can. Um, uh, so put materials like furniture, well, blankets for sure, around or on top of you. If you're in a car or truck, we talked about that already. Um, and so and I think one of the best things to do or to remember is afterwards... Stay where you're at. Um, I think that's probably some good good advice uh, for sure. Um, I want, uh, Buffy, you sent me one more thing, which was that video. Um, there was a video that was sent, uh, that Buffy sent me, that is of somebody's body cam footage during that everything that was going on and what he went through. That was, that was your friend. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So I am going to play that before we we say goodbye for the night. Because um, I think we've seen before and after. I think seeing during is important, too. Um, yeah, yeah, it's crazy. Uh, I'll leave our videos up for this one. Thank <laughs> you. 
everybody's all right. You got everybody accounted for. Hey, every, you got everybody. Everybody's got all their fingers and toes. Okay. All right, good. one right now. Just moved into McDonald's parking lot. I got trees. I'm out with the flip away. Hey, can you hear me? Hello? It's on side. I'm trying to see if I can see somebody inside. All right, I do have somebody trapped inside. Hey! Hello? Hi. Uh, hey. Hey, are you okay? Are you okay? We got we got some money coming to help you, okay? Oh shit. Are you hard? Are you bleeding? Anybody else? Well, it appears the only victim I have so far is in the McDonald's parking lot. There's a wrecked vehicle on punch me, but she's all right. All right, just sit tight. We have help coming. I can't hear you, baby. Is there anybody else in the car? Okay, good. Just sit tight, okay? We have people coming. Hey, everybody okay in here? Yeah, we all right. Everybody got all the fingers and toes? Yeah. Yes. Okay. That was a tornado, folks. I'm pretty sure. That was us that call for him. Yeah. I was shaking my car on my train. I know that. Hey, you still good? You're not bleeding, are you? Okay, anything broken? You feel like you're hurt? All right, you scared a little? All right, then me too, okay? You'll be all right. Hey, you're all right, okay? You're all right. Everything else can be fixed, okay? Just, just hold tight, okay? Just sit tight. Hey, she's okay, but she's trapped in her car. If we get, she's well, she she's that, that these cars are clear. Oh, well, let me check this. I can't see in this one. Yeah, this one's clear. She's she says she's okay. She's moving around and everything all in there. No bleeding, nothing broken. Yeah. This is widespread. I know. It's, you can't hear it through the. Are you okay? 
You're good. I'm going to get a saw and cut this out. We'll just pull you out this way, okay? I'm going to get it out, okay? One minute. All right. Hold that for me a little quicker. Okay. Covered? Slide off the radio log. The email's been removed from the car now. All right. I guess just wait inside my dog. Holy cow. Hey, are y'all okay? Well, the freaking tornado came through town. Yeah, I, I mean, it's really dicked up here on Pine Strain, so, and it was heading kind of uh, towards those. Oh, well, see, I'm soaking wet right now. All right, that, that's all I needed to know. All right, good. All right, bye. Got somebody trapped in there. I asked everybody. everybody they said they were all accounted for. Okay. Let me go see. If I, I'll go double check, though. Everybody still accounted for here? Nobody's trapped here? Nobody's trapped. Okay, because we were getting reports that somebody was trapped here. Nobody's trapped. Okay, that, and that's... Uh, Corey, every, she says everybody's good. Okay. I, know they, I heard them say it was going towards... Man, when I pulled up here, I mean, it was still pouring down cats and dogs. And, and I'm not, I'm not going to lie, man. I was coming from Walmart Natchez. When I said zero visibility, good. my car was, like, all over the place. I thought I was going to... I had a I had a dump, an adrenaline dump. Yeah. Because I turned around, I got on the overpass of Prima, and I couldn't see anything like you said. Yep. And my car was my my SUV started to lift up. Yep. And I thought I was going over the bridge. Yep. So. Yeah. Oh, I know. I felt it, brother. Because it I and I was down at I happened to be down on Spark right before it came in. I said, "This doesn't look good." I, I, had, I was looking at the clouds and, and just all the pine branches breaking off on Spark. Had, Holy cow. Yeah, it's intense. That's, uh, yeah some 
I was doing okay, and then he started talking to the gal that was in the car, and I was like, this guy is <clears throat> awesome. <laughs> what a good dude. I, I don't know man I don't man, I don't know many policemen who would ask if uh, everybody got their fingers and toes. It reminded me of my my like I think it's great. It's so sweet. Um I thought I heard knocking. Oh. I am hearing knocking. Let's entertain the masses. One second, everybody. I guess I'm entertaining the masses. So yeah, that was that was pretty intense. And the funny thing is he was talking about his car lifting up over Fremo and Fremo is like on the other side of that. So that's interesting. Oh, baby Bruce guy. Just stay, stay facing that way, okay? Thank you. Yeah, he couldn't find mommy. So. Oh. Um, all right, everybody. He found a daddy. Listen. Yeah, he found a daddy. See. Um. And uh. So so here's the deal, everybody. Uh. Now was the time that I wanted to, you know, <laughs> head out anyways. Um. Buffy, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Um, oh, thanks for having me. What? And thank you for doing this. Yeah. Um, of course, of course. I, I know, obviously, we have the site down below um, that you all can head to. Um, is there anything else that we might be able to do from, from where everybody's at? I'm just kidding. Keep us in your prayers. Yeah, it's one of those things where it's like, I totally believe in thoughts and prayers, but I totally know, like, if there's something else that can be done, uh, monetary or otherwise, um, that would be, uh, that's really good. So head, to, yeah. Um, I think so right everybody head. Um, a way to get started again. Yes. Um, yeah. yeah, that was, that was mommy. Mommy's here. Okay. You got it. Okay. Okay. Before the house falls apart. Uh, <laughs> everybody, thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Um, Hey Ho show. will be back in two weeks and, uh, we'll, we'll be, I'll, I'll, I, just because this show's over doesn't mean that that site below is closed. Uh, I'm leaving this rolling uh, for a while, and we'll probably have this rolling below maybe for the next month or so, um, and I'll try and get it on True Crime and Wine Time as well, um, because this is a good cause for two wonderful people. So um, thank you again for tuning in, Buffy. Thanks again for the last minute. I know streaming is totally your thing, right? It, it is now. Ha-ha! <laughs> yeah, I mean... I totally do this every day. <laughs> right. Join Buffy tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. for the Karen Reed trial. <laughs> uh, no. Uh, no. That's, 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 that trial's way too. That's a long one. There's way it? too many sides. Oh, to no. That trial. I don't know how I feel about that. I haven't made up my mind about yes. that. Yes. Uh, yeah, right. Um, I believe you uh, on that one. Um, so anyways, uh, thanks again, everybody, for joining. Um, you know, I don't I don't even remember how how, how Rudy signs off, but I'll, I'll sign off how I always do, uh, which is take care of yourself, take care of your friends and your family and even those in the community and those who need it. Um, don't let anybody dull your sparkle and shine on. Shine on, you crazy diamonds. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye